Hello everyone, welcome back to Optimize Ebony. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've done a video, but I wanted to get back and do a video for you guys today. Uh, challenge has just ended, or the challenge promotional stage has just ended. Uh, that means that the upcoming two weeks are basically going to be for uh, challenge uh, like playoff, <laughs> essentially. Uh, so I'll get into that in a little bit. I'll also talk about some of the other events that are going on right now. Uh, but before I got into the the actual content of the video, I wanted to let you guys know about actually the best savings opportunity that uh, that we've had on in Ebony, uh, rivaling basically pink gems. Uh, so basically, this again is 100% uh, legit. You know, this is backed by Ebony. You can see it even in their mails that they come out. Uh, AppCoins and Aptoid is an actual legitimate payment source. Uh, but basically, so with my code Optimize, you will get 5% back on all purchases. Uh, by using uh, AppCoin Wallet, you'll get 10%. Uh, but basically today, uh, and it'll start very soon, but basically uh, April 8th uh, in the Lisbon time zone. So again, you'll have to transfer a little bit, uh, but basically this is uh, starting uh, very soon and then going for the entirety of the uh, April 8th day in, um, in the again, the Lisbon time zone, you'll get an extra 10% back on all of your uh, all of your Ebony purchases. So that means that you can get up to 35% back on on all Ebony purchases. So, I mean, that, that makes, if you were going to, for example, you know, do a cake or, or something like that, that, that makes your savings huge. Um, so I just want to let you guys know about this. Uh, I would wait until, until Friday comes. Uh, make sure that you do hit the the time frame in for this event, uh, but you should get uh, double double down coupons again uh, tomorrow as well. So make sure that you get those double downs and use them and take advantage of the the extra ten percent bonus here. Uh, that's pretty much the best uh, best deal I've ever seen for Ebony. So uh, I wanted to let you guys know about it. Um, but yeah. Back to the the, the main video, uh, I did want to to talk about uh, a few of the extraneous events here. So uh, there is a um, there is basically in the Spring Festival. Uh, I don't have it right here. I need to update this uh, this game. But in the Spring Festival package, you can get Basil the Second, which uh, Basil the Second is a a general that you need for general hall so um, you can see somewhere here uh, is basil where is he the heck I I know he's in here uh, I just was looking at this the other day oh right here so basil the second is needed for general hall 2 and Ebony is basically offering it for four or five dollars so I'm definitely going to take advantage of this because you know this is the cheapest that you'll get a general hall to general that's not in the tavern. Um, but other than that, uh, challenge will be will be happening uh, on starting this Saturday. So in in place of BOC, unfortunately there's no BOC. I think this week or next week. Um, but uh, in the place you'll have challenge. Uh, and I will be streaming that. I will be playing uh, with one of my friends' alliances, and I will be streaming that. You can see the time, the time frames here. Um, and uh, let's look a little bit into the rewards. So, the main reason why people want to do challenge is to get this this subsidy, uh, which this subsidy is actually a, a very interesting subsidy. It's 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 very defensive focused. So it increases troops attack for the defending city and in city ground troop and mount troop HP. So uh, people are always trying to improve their mount troop HP because it helps protect your mounts from, from those uh, strong archer uh, solos and rallies. Uh, so this is this is a really good, really good sub for defending. 
it's not particularly good for attacking. Um, it does give you training capacity, but you know that's not huge here. Um, so I'm curious. I'm I'm sure the the people that are going to win these, they might not actually even want to keep these. They might uh, be trading these away to maybe someone in their alliance to uh, for either a different historic subsidy or for a different. Uh, you know, sub sub that they want or, or something else, uh, because you know they're they're less concerned about the defending and they're more concerned about the attacking. Uh, but yeah, so basically, if we look into this, that means that uh, if you place first, that means that you're the top fifteen people in your alliance will get a uh, Egypt subsidy, in addition to all these other things. Um, if you're in second to fourth, the, the top 10 people get that uh, and kind of going down uh, to the all of the people who, who qualified in the top 64 will get a subsidy uh, or will have an opportunity for a subsidy. So basically, this is uh, they've they've added this version, which is the uh, optional epic subsidy chest, which basically means you can pick which subsidy you want. And then if you're in 49th place to 64th place, you will get a just a random uh, subsidy. But th this is this is top one in personal scores. So basically, the top person in your alliance for personal scores will get this uh, if you're in in these uh, in these alliances. So let's take a quick look at who is actually in these. They sent out the list, uh, but I'll. I'll just look at, at C1 because that's what I'm going to be streaming. Uh, so 808, 1, Nef, GOT, ROG, IFT. Uh, I'm not going to read all of them, but you can see uh, a lot of a lot of alliances that you know. Uh, it's kind of interesting. They they added like the the advancing things to only the top 16, even though the top 64. Uh, qualify, so uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, I think that's they just kind of messed up, but it it seems like it seems like it's going to be a, a lot of fun. It looks like it's going to be a lot of really good alliances, and there's going to be a lot of good competition. Uh, it's it. I actually really like that they expanded it outside of the top 16 because then you don't have the same concerns that people were uh, voicing before, where basically the top 16. Uh, yeah, those are those are really good alliances, but sometimes the there's really good alliances that just because they're matchups don't make there's not enough points in those battle, and so they've they've killed everyone in their in their battle, but they're not able to get any more points, and so they're not able to advance. So people in like the top twenty and and even beyond, I mean, you can you can see that. Up to place 37, they've won their 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 battlefield. So, it, yeah, it's I I do really like this new this new version. It also means that if you are a really good alliance and you happen to lose, that you're not you're not disqualified from this this advancing. Um, so I I really like that. Uh, yeah, uh, that's that's basically what I had for you guys today. I just wanted to do a quick quick update there. Um, and yeah, I will be streaming the for challenge, so uh, make sure that you check that out. Uh, it should be should be a fun time. Uh, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.